Hello and welcome back. Today I will be talking about the sequential switch that I spent this past week building for my Eurorack modular. I got interested in a sequential switch after watching this video link from Mylar Melodies. I didn't really understand exactly how it worked, but I knew what it was doing was very cool. So I set out to make my own clone of a dope for A151. It's actually based on schematics I found elsewhere, and I laid out my own circuit board, prototyped my own PCB, and built the thing myself for my own learning and education and benefit. So anyway, what is a sequential switch? A sequential switch takes some clock input and then it will use that to route some incoming control voltage to one of four outputs in order. Think of these as count of from one to two to three to four. It will pass this incoming CV control voltage to one of the four output depending on where it's at and it uses the clock again to count that up. It turns out that these control voltages can also go the other way. So this in is also an out. So if that control, vo control voltage is going out, then that means these are inputs at that point in time. Incoming control voltage can go to these outputs or these can go the other way. These can be incoming on these four and then be passed to one as the output. That's very cool, but not only can this be control voltage, it could also be audio signals. Wow. So that's what I'm going to be demoing for you today really quick is I'm going to be sending audio into all four of these inputs here, 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 and then I'm going to be sending those out one at a time in sequence to the output so Thank you. 